June 6th, this weekend, Sunday, funnily enough, for some reason it's on a Sunday, <sighs> Logan Paul will take on Floyd Mayweather in what is being billed as an exhibition match with no judges and no official result. However, they can get knocked out. There is no headgear. It is an exhibition. They may have guest judges like celebrities that go that person won, but you can get knocked out, allegedly. Now, I think it's eight three minute rounds. I am underwhelmed by this happening. I understand the Jake Paul thing against someone that perhaps he could beat, perhaps he couldn't beat. There's that kind of all, there's a, there's a talking point, there's a debate. When you go to Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather, you can't present to me a serious person who genuinely believes that Logan Paul could beat Floyd Mayweather. He has a, a puncher's chance. And not just like, oh, he's got a puncher's chance. He's got the very thinnest, most minute puncher's chance there is. Anyone can get knocked out. I don't care if you're Floyd Mayweather, if you're the big show. It doesn't matter who you are. Anyone can get knocked out. But for a man who fought the very best of the best in 50 fights, the chances of him getting caught by Logan Paul are about as short as a midget on his knees. It is not going to happen. The fact that this fight is going on, I can't believe enough people are that interested in this, that it's it's still going ahead. You, the McGregor Mayweather thing, you could sell that because they were both at the top of their sports. The Logan Paul Mayweather thing, I don't get it. I, I, I just don't get it. It's too far-fetched. The gap's too big. And people, oh, you know, Logan's going to weigh 190 pounds. It doesn't matter. He could weigh 300 pounds. It doesn't matter. Floyd Mayweather will carry him for two or three rounds and then he'll bury him. What I hope he does is he comes out in the first round and absolutely blitzes him, destroys him, and everyone goes, ha, 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 and then we all carry on with our lives. But here I am making a video talking to you lot about it because oh, that's just what we do in the, in the combat world these days. These YouTube fights and things, they have a place. I think they, they're not new. We used to have celebrity boxing. We've had celebrity boxing forever. Um, celebrity death match was a thing. You know, we've had, we've seen these things over time. This is just a different version of that. There'll always be a place for it and there always has been a place for it. Yes, perhaps it's in the zeitgeist at the moment where everyone is is looking at it and it's, it's, it's caught kind of the wisp of time that this is happening. But there will be a time where this fades. I do not care about this fight. I care more about Jake Paul and Woodley because there's a conversation to be had there. But it's a slow week in the UFC. We're, a, we're 10 days away from UFC 263, so I've got to talk about something, haven't I? Don't have a go at me.